Hi guys. Uh, so recently I have been asked by a couple of my friends to solve this problem Minesweeper. So this is not the uh, same problem as what we have seen in the lead code. But uh, this has been frequently asked for the Facebook production engineer interviews. And there are two variations of this problem. So the first one is generate a Minesweeper. So you have been given a number of rows and number of columns and you have been given a count of number of mines as well. So basically you need to generate a matrix and place those number of mines in that particular grid. Okay, so generate and place mines in a grid. Okay, so that's the first variation. And the follow-up for this question would be you need to fill the adjacent cells of the mines with the number of mines around it. Right. So I'll give I'll give you an example. So fill up the adjacent cells. Okay. So example is something like this. So let's say you have been given row as 4 and column as 3. So you'll be having 4 rows and you'll be having 3 columns. And let's say your mines count is 4. So at that time you'll be placing 4 mines randomly. And the final variation is fill up the grid. Basically you need to go to the every uh, position in the grid and fill that position with the number of mines around it right for example if you go to this if you see in other direction there is no mine so you fill it up with zero and if you go to this position and you see all the places around it surrounding it it has this one and this one so it has two mines so you place it two so this is like couple of variations of this problem so i'll not be solving the lead code version so this is only for facebook production engineer interviews let's see how we can solve this right so I'll be writing the code in C++, so let's say I need these header files, okay, and I need a main function. So int main, okay. and let me take a row as 4, you can pass this as command line arguments as well, but I'll just hard code it for now, okay, and let's say mines count is also 3 in this case correct so the first step is we generate let's uh, write an helper function generate minesweeper okay which will take a row column as well as mines count okay and as this is uh, int main you will be returning 0 now let's uh, quickly write the helper function generate minesweeper so it will be a void function and it will take three parameters int row, int column, and int let's say mines count. The first thing we need is a grid. So, in this case, uh, the grid will be of characters. So, basically, in C, I take uh, I'll use vectors to form my grid. It's something like this. Okay, first initially, I'll take number of rows, and uh, for every column. First initially I take number of columns and for every column I have created a row. So basically this becomes a matrix, right? So I'll okay, I'll generate an another help function which will just take this minesweeper and print it. Let's uh, implement this later. For now, let's move on to the actual logic. So now you know the mine count, but what you need to do is for until you have to until you have placed those many mine counts, you need to keep randomly generating a number for row and column and make sure that is not already filled with the mines right so basically i'll start a while loop until my mines count is zero okay and i'll be using a sran function first so that every time you try to generate a random number it generates a random number without this most of the time in c++ it uh, generates the same number again and again okay we need a random row i'll call it as r row which will be a random function so let's add percentile row so that it doesn't go out of bound right and similar thing i'll do for the column as well okay so the next thing is the placing this particular basically adding a character m in this particular position so one more corner condition one more check what you can do is this random row is we know it's not gone out of bound but even then it's good to check again and a random column has also not gone out of bound okay 
so in this case we go and check if it is already placed with the minesweeper so we display row and row column is not equal to m right so in this case we need to go and place at this particular position my and we need to also make sure that you decrement the count okay so this is basically the first part of the solution where you have taken your empty grid and you have your mind count and for those numbering number of times you generate a random row and column and you place a mine there so before placing a mine you make sure that it is already it is not already filled with the mine so let's add a print function here again so that we can see what's the difference initially it should be empty just filled with a zero character next it should have mines count number of mines in it okay so i have already written the code to print the minesweeper i'll just uh, copy paste here and not waste time on that so this is basically the print minesweeper okay so this is the first part so after this we need to go and fill the numbers let me quickly try to run this and see if this works fine oh, and our function name is minesweeper okay there's some okay it doesn't take this okay one more okay okay now it generated the binary let me run it so initially it's all empty if you see initially it's all empty then we have placed three mines okay if you see my initial mine count was three so what we can do is we can just add an extra line here to make it look legible so initially it's this then it gives an extra line then we have placed three mines so now we need to write a function which will go ahead and fill all the adjacent cells with the number of mines in its adjacent cells right so again uh, let's say something called as fill numbers okay you can name it whatever you want but yeah and basically it will take the minesweeper as an argument okay hmm. so now we need to go ahead and implement this minesweeper why minesweep fill basically it will take the same argument okay how do we fill right so basically we need to first thing is we need to have two loops to iterate for every cell in this so for every cell again you need to have two loops so that it goes and checks in checks all its adjacent so basically we'll use four loops i mean it's not efficient way but again uh, especially in the facebook production engineer interviews they don't look for efficiency they just want to see if you can come up with a solution right so let's add four loops for now so initially let me these are my two loops, initial loops. Okay. okay. Also, let's take an initial variable saying count is equal to zero. Right? We need to keep a count of number of mines around every cell for every cell. Right? So every basically I have initialized the count after inside these two loops. That's the reason. Okay now for every cells we need to take two more loops and go and check it's all it's adjacent so i've taken two more loops here okay so now every time for every cell we need to make sure we go and keep a count right so first what we do is we do the error checking if case less than zero or l is less than zero or if k is greater than minesweeper dot size that is basically we are adding checks for all the out bounds if anything is gone out of box it is equal to minesweeper of the column size right Add equal to here as well so if 
one of these conditions is hit, then we need to just continue to the next one. Okay. So next we go and check if this particular cell is a minesweeper. Right. So that will take k and l if it is equal to m. We implement a count. Okay. So after a couple of loops, we need to update that particular cell with the count value. So this is a key step. Please do not forget this. Usually we keep a count, but we forget updating the count. So in this case, it will be i and j. Okay. And if it is not, and just one more check it is, we need to make sure that we are not updating the mines with the count, right? If it is not a mine, then we need to update with its count. Okay. So initially, count is an integer, so I'll just do an addition of zero to make it an character. Okay, and one more thing what we can do is, we can do the same thing again, printing after fill numbers. So let's quickly run and see if okay no compiler issues. Initially it's empty, then we fill the matrix and we place the mines. So now if you see for this one it has two mines surrounding it. So we have replaced that with two. And for example, if you take this position, it has just one mine, right? So we are replaced with one. So yeah, that's a uh, solution for this if you want to take a brief look at the code you can take a look now so initially I have just added a main function where I have taken a row count column count and mine count you pass that to your helper function generate mine sweeper generate mine sweeper is nothing but taking an initial matrix and then generating a random number for mines count number of times and every time you try to place or replace that particular cell with the character M then you need to make sure that it's not already M okay then you go and call your fill numbers. The fill numbers is again pretty simple. Just two loops to go through every cell. For every cell, you need to go and check in all the eight directions. So basically we are taking four loop, two loops again and make sure your indices is not going out of bound. And if it is not going out of bound and if it is not already M, if it is M, then you increment your count. And while placing, you check that particular cell is not M. At the time you go and increment basically add that count as a character in your particular set so yeah this is uh, one of the solution what you can give to your interviewer there are many more other optimized ways but yeah this is one of the solution what I had you can quickly code this and this is pretty straightforward so please do try this yourself and let me know if you have any concerns regarding this and there are sm small optimization what you can do like passing these arguments uh, like command uh, uh, via command line so so that you don't have any hard coded values in your code mm, yeah and keep learning every day do like share and subscribe to my channel and all the best for your interviews thank you bye bye